So I'm going to show you guys how to get a fusion core, uh, one every seven minutes. As you can see, this is the bottom of the map. You scroll up right above the top of the world, the little dome thing. You come to this right here. It's the power plant. You'll I'll go over this later. This is where you get the fusion cores in the power plant yard. But right now we're doing this event because it's a very special reason. So as you come up here to the cooling system right outside, there'll be two cooling systems you have to repair. This one actually looks, this looks repaired. I don't see any smoke. So you just go around, you repair these things, and then there'll be two things inside over here that you'll have to do. So you just come down. And go in here. So you're going to come into here. There's going to be some enemies. You're going to want to repair this. Repair the pipes with that kind of logo on it. It'll be broken. Like right here, it'll tell you to repair that and just go around and repair them all. So once you're done with that, you have to repair two more systems. We're going to quick do these things. The other two. Okay. So let me quick find it. This is the bottom. Another trick right here if you just want to get a quick fusion core is if no one's hit this in the last hour or two, uh, you just hack this terminal. Come in here, there'll be a fusion core in there. So we're going to come up here. Oh, we need to go upstairs. So is this it? Nope, it's in here. So you're going to want to come through this door to the plant office. Make your way through here, bypass everything. That's the roof access. So once you're in here, you'll see this control room reactor. You're going to want to come in here. Uh, this is the final part where you will come. And then just, just come through here. I don't see any people. You're just going to want to jump this. Come in through here. The rads get a lot in here. So I'd recommend a rad X. And yeah, just come in here. Not, not that way up here. Come all the way up to here, and then you jump down. And then you gotta repair all these things. It's the same thing, pipes in the 
Little control interfaces. So like that one. This one right here. One more. Yeah, here we go. Is there a pipe? No, okay. You come up to here, you come into this control room reactor. And this is what you do. So you don't want to go out through the pipe areas just because the steam's running and it's super hot. It will it'll do a lot of damage. We'll quick find the exit. Here we go. Roof access. See if we can scrap anything really quick. Okay, this is not good. The high levels are spawning. It did this last time. I'm only level 21. And... I don't really want to fight the high levels because I know it's not going to work. So you come around here. Out to the east side. See this thing? This is... This is where it all pays off. This is the power box. It comes all the way through here. Goes all the way over here into that thing. And that's where the fusion cores come out. Now, we're gonna have to clear these things out. So you're gonna claim this. We're just gonna stick to this because PvP this is really good. We're gonna get out of this power armor. And so I'm gonna show you the main thing, but uh, over here they added, I think this is acid, right? Yeah, acid. And now there is silver. So you can put two, two harvesters on that. I think they're ore miners is what they're called. We're gonna quick get this. So that's repaired. This thing is up and running from that. Yeah.
Yeah, once you know... Once you see those lights pop up, the three yellow ones, it's good. So we're just gonna set some stuff up. So we'll put this one... I'd rather put them inside, because last time... When I put them outside, it just wrecked them. And I'd really recommend having upgraded turrets. I only had the level ones, but the upgraded's definitely will be a whole lot better. I'm kind of going crazy with the turrets right now, just because last time I had a whole bunch of things overrun, and they're like level 40 more rats, and it just took forever to get them out. Okay. Oh, this isn't bad. They're not that. Oh wow, one of those took out two of these. There you go, there's the fusion core. Um, I'll put a timer on it right now. It's 11.38 p.m. So we will see how fast it is. Last time I did it was every seven minutes. my stim packs and now it's not letting me use them Usually not this many here. So I'm kind of ill-prepared. I don't have that many stim packs, but we got some blood packs, so just have to use those for right now. And we should be good. Yeah, I don't know if this is a... No, okay, this is a glitch a lot of waves. As you can see, the level 1 defenses aren't that good. They die in a couple of hits, so you kind of have to put them up high. But it serves the purpose, you know. They still shoot, they still work. 
and they uh, they serve as kind of decoys. Yeah, so I'll tell you the strat right now. Um, you'll get these guys like every... I think every like 20 minutes they come. That's what happened for me last time. Um, so, that's what happened. And... Yeah, so... They're not coming now. But I like to either get up here or right down here. Even right around here, out of sight. You know, not a lot of people will check. And it's kind of cheesy, but you just you just kind of sit and wait with the chameleon because that works with the with this gun. I'm sure there's other guns with a lot higher damage with single shot, but all you got to do is vats them, and they're pretty much dead. Especially if you have any crit or sneak. So this is another good spot. You could honestly go anywhere on this jungle gym. But now a lot of people are going to be looking up here and they're not going to be able to see you, you know? So, I do that. And just like that, we got a fusion core. So, that's one every 11.38, 11.45. Around every eight minutes. Yeah, I think here would be probably... Oh, I can't get up there. I think right up there would be the best place. Just because most people aren't going to look up there. They're just going to walk by and be like, Oh, there's nothing there. Or you could even get up to here. As you can see, from doing that for about a couple of hours, it's able to get around almost eight an hour. I have around 27 fusion cores. So, you know, if you get on, you kind of camp it out. I would recommend doing it solo if you want to keep it all for yourself. There's only like one or two swarms that you have to defend. Um, so I'd just recommend going on doing it solo, you know, getting around 30 or 40. And just grinding it out for a couple hours. You could play on your phone or even go on some kind of other device and just kind of on and off monitor it. Go every like eight minutes and get it and go back up to like a camping spot. If you guys like the video, please drop a like, sub, help out the channel. I have a lot of good upcoming videos on many different games coming up, ranging from Fallout to Apex to Days Gone, Mortal Kombat, Dying Light, Death Stranding, Cyberpunk. So to everyone watching, uh, have a good day.